Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to Heyday for another Heyday video. Now today's video is going to have a bit of a Halloween focus. I'm going to be checking out some Halloween decoration that you have got on your farms and in your towns that you'd like to show off. So enjoy the video today as I start looking at different players and seeing what they have or haven't done in relation to Halloween. Now, we've got a lot of decoration available within the game. If you wanted to, you can slide on down to the seasonal shop, move on down there, and you can pick up some of the Halloween decoration. Now, there are pieces there that are from previous years. There are some brand new items as well that are also available within the game, depending on how you wish to get them. Now, if you want to buy some new ones, there's the Diamond Deco Packs, where there's three offers at the moment. Remember, it is real money, and they look like that. If you participated in the global event we just had for Halloween, you would have won this gorgeous chair and table. But like I said, there's a lot of other decoration to be purchased and to be used. And I do like the Halloween period because I can redesign my farm with a wonderful Halloween design. And this is my Halloween area down here where I've just got coins. Yeah. So you walk on in, there's my crypt down there, there's lots of graves with skeletons, there's my little skeleton and tree houses there. They're very nice indeed, combining the pieces together, and a lot more. There's one of those wonderful decorative pieces there, available from Greg's Farm. Now, if you do go to Greg's Farm, everybody, remember you can actually find some spooky jack-o'-lanterns popping up and down. Number one was over there, number two was located down here, and if we're going to go for number three, which is over there. So that's what you're looking for, jack-o'-lanterns. They glow, they jump up and down, and if you tap on them, you can get some wonderful decorative like that beautiful fencing I've just got there. So I'm very happy about that one indeed. In fact, screenshot time. Yay. Yeah. So I like that one. And that's now been added to my collection. Now there's eight in total. And if you saw my last video, you know where they can be found. And there's always others bouncing up and down as well. And there's more decoration ideas down on Greg's farm. In fact, another toolbox as well with nails. My lucky day. Now, I do like Greg's. He does have a lot of decorative options. So you'll see down here, he's using the Halloween fencing. You know, that fencing itself is very nice, and it's one of my favorite ones. The new one that we've just got within the game, I'm afraid, is a diamond purchase pack. You'll get five, but then you need to keep buying more packs to get them. Uh, I do wish at some stage in the future that Heyday will introduce, once you've got it, you can buy more and more and more within the game. Uh, and then the first purchase is a kind of an unlock option, but that's not to be at this moment. Now, if you're the kind of person like me who has not chopped down all of the trees, you'll also find that some of your trees have jack-o'-lanterns in them as well. So if you're a lower level, try not to remove too many. Additionally as well, if you're decorating with farmland, you've also got the pumpkins that have the jack-o'-lantern faces, making your Halloween appearance a little bit more exciting. Animals dress up in costume, so all of your animals will be wearing different clothing depending on the actual animal itself. So do check out Greg's as well for some design ideas. I must admit, I do like that pathway and the water with the mushroom path pieces added in there as well. Very nice indeed. So combine some of the other seasonal or autumn decoration with your Halloween design and you will create something very wonderful. And I must admit, I do like the way he's done that. Right, let's go and have a look at some of your farms. So let's head on over to the next one. Okay, now the farm I'm going to be looking at here is Bajada in the valley. And they've created a Halloween area over by the side of their house. So as you come from the entranceway, you can see all of the Halloween effect there. So if we look as an overall view there, you can see exactly what they've done. A bit of a water river effect in there. They've got dead trees as well. Well, they've combined some of the farmland there with path pieces and some of the bushes have not been revived as well. So it does have a very nice autumn and Halloween mix to it as well. And I like the look of that one. Now, as we zoom on in, they're using that beautiful little like a uh, gate artway there. And you'll see they've got some dead trees here located within the design. Now, the dead trees within the game can be very, very nice if you do save some of them for the autumn period, because even though they are dead, they do blend in very well indeed. And I do like that. 
You've got that gorgeous gnome house with the gnome witch. And heyday, we need some more gnome characters. I think it's a wonderful direction that you went in. And if you give us some more seasonal gnomes as well, we could definitely enjoy being more creative. Oh, I could have so many gnomes uh, wearing Halloween costumes. It would be wonderful to place them out within my farm Halloween design. There's that wonderful scarecrow with a jack-o'-lantern head. Uh, again, I want more of those. Now, in this case, he's put the actual squirrel house there in with the bushes, and some of the bushes have died off. And those dead bushes actually do look very, very cool indeed, so they do blend in nicely. You've got some fires behind the trees there, creating a bit of a spooky effect as well. Yeah, nice mix of the barrels and the machines as well. There's two of the prizes there obtained within the game. One from Greg's Pumpkins uh, and the other one, which is the coffin. That comes from the fishing area. Now, remember, there is a ghost in the fishing area during the Halloween period. If you find that ghost and it's your first time, you'll get that gorgeous coffin as a free Halloween gift. Uh, don't worry. The ghost comes back regularly, so until you get it, uh, you can keep trying and trying and trying. Now, once you do find a ghost, and it's the second and the third and the fourth time, you're not going to get deco, but you will get some other items. If you see the ghost, tap on the ghost, collect the prize. And if it's your first time, beautiful coffin. Place that one out. Chick Norris is inside, by the way. And heyday, I do like that idea. But again, another wonderful opportunity to maybe have some of the ghosts giving decoration, like every fifth ghost or sixth ghost or something like that. Uh, maybe a nice little seasonal decoration that can be gotten within the game instead of just the diamonds, the vouchers or other pieces. <gasps> Good opportunity. Now, one of my favorite Halloween decorations has to be that little grave being dug there. Now, I like the animation for this one. I think the actual skeleton being raised by the pig once it actually pops up uh, is very cool indeed. Who has not wanted to dive into a coffin area, pick up some of the skeletons, stick them on sticks and then wave them around and scare people? I know I have, <laughs> but then again, I'm crazy. Now, remember, if you do have some of the dead trees, try to combine them within your designs. Uh, sometimes placing those jack-o'-lantern heads with fire pieces gives it a very nice effect like you've got here as well. If you do get the haunted houses, remember, if you tap on those, the bats that are actually flying around come home to roost as well. I like the graves there. Looks like there's a couple down there that have just been recently dug. So may they rest in peace. Mm, and hopefully they won't get dug up and thrown around. Very nice Halloween design. I like what you've done here, Bajada. Right, let's go and look at the next one, shall we? Welcome to the next farm, everybody. This one is Sassy Cat. And again, they've gone with a beautiful Halloween design. Actually, there's more to this design than just a Halloween. If I look over here, I love the way that they actually say hello using those beautiful red tires and the yellow orangey flowers as well. They've not chopped down all of the trees, so there's jack-o'-lanterns scattered around, creating a very nice blended feeling with some of the other areas of the farm as well. Certainly a lot of decoration being used within this one. So very, very cool design, and I like the way you've hidden your machines behind those beautiful trees. I need more of those ones. Right now, Halloween, 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 as we come down the steps here, so we go down those beautiful steps, past all of those scary looking man-eating plants, past the waterfalls with the naked statues in the panda bears, down to where the rock with the lizards and the gnomes fishing in the pond, and you'll see the Halloween area. So it looks like a lot of people have passed away on this farm. So if you are a worker, you're employed on this farm, maybe they're going to work you to death. But don't worry, there's always a place for you on the farm, or should I say, under the farm. So everybody needs good fertilizer. Now look at that. We've got some wonderful coffee spaces down there so wonderful graves uh, you can see the wonderful grave there with that beautiful jack-o'-lantern headpiece on it as well i need more of those you've got some beautiful flowers there some nice headstones there as well with fire pieces very nice i don't know if the actual graves are going backwards there or maybe they're waiting to be filled or something like that or maybe there are new ones going there 
But either way, very, very cool. They've combined some of those wonderful trees there together to create a nice little archway and pattern with spiders going down. And it does kind of look like a scary face when they are working. So use those trees wisely. If you were lucky enough to get one of the gargoyles in the previous heyday events and activities, then place that one out as well. We need more statues like this. We really, really do. They've even got cats and dogs down in the area. And maybe there's one cat there that's playing with a jack-o'-lantern. So we need more of those as well. Oh my god, a heyday, more decoration. But I do like this. I really do. That nice little entrance over there to the barn as well. Coming into this area, the actual squirrel tree there some dead nectar bushes and fencing around the outside little gnome house over in the corner as well very nice indeed okay let's go look at another halloween design for the next design we're at bojerig van yes hopefully i got the name right but uh, please excuse me if i got it wrong now i like this one a lot because it incorporates a lot of the green trees around the outside mixed in with some of the other trees that are just as colorful and a variety of dead trees and bushes from the different trees and bushes within the game so it creates a nice effect and for me the effect is often as important as the decoration that's being used so do make sure that you incorporate trees trees and bushes both alive and dead together because it makes it look more automobiling wise and with the Halloween combination as well very cool indeed now color is important because remember we do when we bury our loved ones we place down flowers as well so like you can see here flowers are being used and I think they blend in very well indeed the purples the pinks the red there the white very beautiful so if you've got the chance to pick up some of those decorative pieces from within the actual flower, flower aspect of the game, grab those as well. Now, I know a lot of people say that they'd like to see a dark and night mode. I must admit it would be very, very cool indeed to have a dark mode, especially if we could dim the game just slightly. Now, I know there are a lot of issues with creating that effect, so it probably won't happen. But you can buy those beautiful lights there that do flash every now and then and they do glow uh, like i said it is a shame there is no dark theme but if heyday in the future were able to add it in it would be perfect now the combination of the path pieces on this one kind of makes it even better as well you'll see they're using the dirt path there they've got some of the stone pathing mixed in as well uh, so three kinds of path there combined as well some of the headstones there have got jack-o'-lanterns on top there's even the candle jack-o'-lantern as well giving that spooky flashy glowy feel with the candles as well not my favorite decoration that one but it does go if you add it in and blend it in my preference is more of the regular jack-o'-lantern heads that are over there in the back with the trees oh, wonderful design and look at the way they've actually done that centerpiece there where they've actually put like a dead bush behind the headstone there very cool one of the farmland pieces there being used with jack-o'-lantern so the pumpkins in good effect there as well and the well added over the back now there is more path piece towards the back there you've got that combination of a raised and lowered platform leading into other beautiful aspects of this farm so there's a lot that's actually very nice about this farm that I do like uh, it is one of my favorite ones in relation to layout uh, but today as you know my specific focus is definitely the Halloween and that is very nice indeed Okay, let's go look at the next farm. The next farm I'm going to be looking at here is Annalise. Now, they again have a wonderful Halloween design, both enclosed and open. Now, one of the reasons I like this one is because of the actual gnome house. And if I slide on into that part of the design, you can see what I mean. So just over here is that gorgeous little gnome house incorporated into the design. Those actual stumps of the tree there with the mushrooms, the little green topiary there. Very nice indeed. And I like this combination piece there. You've got some of the gnome witches there incorporated within the design and this open aspect with that wonderful pebble stone path around the outside. Using the white fences around the edge there. Then coming over to the Halloween section where it's more enclosed. 
uh, with some wonderful plants and the coffin and trees and other deco as well. I also like the way that they're using the actual headstone pedestals there with the jack-o'-lantern on top and then interspace with two other jack-o'-lanterns as well. So very nice design indeed. So Alice has a very simple layout. Okay, uh, very cool. Okay, let's go and have a look at another design. Now the next farm I'm on is Cherry Tree Farm. Now when it comes to the Halloween decoration, you don't have to make a Halloween area, but you can also use the decoration in other ways. And I specifically like the way that this farm has used both the walling uh, decoration and the actual Halloween light decoration in combination around their machine area. So if we come off to the side here and I zoom in, look at the way that actual design goes around and is very creative in itself. So on the back part there the wall is behind the lights and the lights are in front and if you come down to the front effect same situation the walls behind uh, and the lights are to the front but you end up with this gorgeous patterning style that comes around. So the lights end up being above the wall uh, and the actual lamps itself are in a different direction. Now as you look at the design you'll notice that they actually do change in directional approach just here before they come back around on this side. Uh, and then the same thing as they come back over here they have that different direction change as well. Uh, and then they come on back again and then again change in that direction. So I like the way that they've actually done this. Combining the machines with the walls and those lights around the outside, very, very nice indeed. Even the entranceway is very different, but it blends in so well. So Easter decoration, Halloween, sure, why not? Now, everybody likes a haunted egg. Even rabbits could dress up sometimes. Okay, very nice indeed, but let's go look at another farm. Liana's here is probably one of the better ones that I've seen today in relation to Halloween layout and design. She's actually incorporated it into literally all of her design with a kind of an autumn stroke Halloween theme, and I do like it a lot. Now if I come on down to the front of her farm where you've got this gorgeous entrance right here with the two gargoyles and then using those wall pieces with the lights straight down there mixed in with some of the trees as well and the rose tires behind again then with more flowers, the water ditch and then the actual Halloween fencing. It creates a kind of a moat style effect where you've got this kind of like raised platform feeling. Then with the larger trees down at the bottom there, again those trees coming up over the back there with the autumn trees just in front, does make it very beautiful. I like the fact she's using those gorgeous hungry plants there, uh, and then some more in the center there, actually protecting the leaves, cat running around the outside. I do like it. Overall a very very nice design and very well created. Now if I focus on some specific points here that are very nice if you want to design. Now I do think using some of these haunted trees with the spiders inside are very good. And a lot of people combine them together. And then what they then do is to add something to that to make a more interesting and unique design. So in this case it's those candle jack-o'-lanterns mixed in there. Gives you the effect that it's kind of like eyes coming down when the spiders land down and the face behind them. And they've done that a few times. Now you've got some dead nectar bushes and live ones over the back there. Again, creating a wonderful feel to this design. Squirrel house mixed in, a beautiful roof piece there with the nice beautiful blue walls as well. I like the altar down there with the witch in the cauldron. Great combination there with the gnome houses as well. So very nice layout. Usage of the dirt path pieces there. Again, going into different aspects of the farm there. Very, very, very cool indeed. I do like this one, specifically those wall pieces. They are very good the way that they have been done. Very wonderful. And that entrance piece there is very nice. I wonder if you can put another white flower into the side there to bring that up more towards it, or maybe under the red tires. Hmm. Could be interesting. But overall, very, very, very cool indeed i'm impressed so well done young lady that is a very nice design 
Okay, let's go look at the next one. Jasmine's full moon is the next one that I'm going to be looking at. And I must admit, I do like the use of the trees, the bushes and the flowers within this design. You can see some of the autumn trees down there, those gorgeous reds and yellows and purples and browns all being combined into the one design as it spreads off into different areas of the farm as well so an overall farm layout very nice indeed now if i come down to the bottom hand corner you can see where the land has been opened but the trees have not been replaced yet you've also got the fencing there the step back entrance there you've got the dead water which i really wish heyday would give us as a separate decoration item to add back in uh, you've got some of the gnomes being used there and it does look good as we come into the actual area itself you'll see that gorgeous tree from the sanctuary from one of the zebras i think it is and some of the other trees and plants being used now i think it's important to add color to these halloween designs and the flowers do allow you to do that so look at that beautiful layout over there even the cactus blended in there as well there's gorgeous flowers there uh, above the actual tombs very nice indeed and again some more cactus added in as well so overall a very pleasant actual halloween design and i like it i really do simplistic nicely laid out and very enjoyable i want to copy this one myself very nice the next farm i'm looking at here is trisha's farm now this actual halloween area is located just across the road from the main farm so once you've actually opened up the area you're giving yourself a lot more space but actually you don't have to open everything up just to give yourself a nice design as you can see here the way that the actual wall pieces around the halloween area uh, around that graveyard is blended in very nicely with the other wall pieces that are also there from the unopened area with the autumn colored leaves the uh, jack-o'-lantern trees as well uh, with the path pieces going around the outside and then changing as they go into the machines and then other decorations scattered around in the area it creates a very wonderful design indeed and i do like this one now if we actually look at what's been done inside the main piece there is the actual hole that goes down into the ground that beautiful crypt where there's even more bodies buried so i wonder just how many bones and skeletons are under this farm so if only they could give their secrets now some of the new decoration from the event has been all incorporated into this one we've got a lot of nice headstones and colored flowers again mixed in so a very simplistic design a nice change with the actual stone walling to the metal fencing as well i like the way that's been done and then blended in with some of the dead trees and bushes around the outside plus the autumn tree decoration as well very nice indeed i do like that one and you can see there as well the gargoyle and the actual haunted bird house there or bat house is on the outside as is the candy cauldron over at the back there with the fireman so very nice indeed so trisha nice farm okay let's go and look at another one now for my last video of this selection of halloween farms and designs i'm going to be looking at chris now of all of the ones i've looked at here i've enjoyed the designs but I have to say, this one is absolutely magnificent. Now, within the game itself, you get a chance to purchase a lot of wonderful trees, which you then cycle through, harvest and collect the fruit. Now, a lot of us then chop those trees down and then replace them with brand new ones, which is nice. And during the spring season, the flowers look fantastic. However, during the autumn and Halloween season, it's very nice to actually keep those trees in their dead form and place them around the farm. And that's what this farm design has it is wonderful now you can see from looking at the imagery exactly what i'm saying so as i move around you can see the beautiful halloween style design there with the incorporation of the purple the greens the dead trees 
dead bushes, autumn colored trees in there as well. Animal pens nicely separated, some other decoration there mixed in, lots of pathways going around, changing again as well. That separation of the animal pens creating a very nice walkway through all of the farm, uh, in which the helpers are actually following as well. Uh, pets are scattered in there as well. You've got a wonderful little crop area down there where they're not actually joined and they're creating a kind of like maze walkway. Uh, it is really, really good. And I like this one a lot. Even if I come across the road, the whole design continues. Like even down here, the same kind of effect there with all of the machines, the way it's all blended in and put together. The smelters there with the actual jewelers, those beautiful orange and brown brown and purple trees combined into a wonderful design. This is really, really cool indeed, and I do like it. It doesn't matter where I look, I am happy. I really am. So, Chris, you have created a wonderful Halloween design. I am very impressed indeed, and I would recommend trying to copy this one. Like, look at that simple but yet elegant design over there. You come to this park, you can sit down and relax. There's a bench there as well. Maybe if you wish to cry a little bit more. Uh, you can head on underground. You can pay your respects. The squirrel tree over there again with some of the actual bushes there behind the tree to make it look more interesting. A uh, mix of the actual dead bushes in there with some of the decoration you get from the sanctuary as well. Very nice indeed. Those gorgeous little lamps there. Uh, again, blended in with the path pieces. A little bit of green and brown here. Very, very nice. I like it. I really do. This one is very cool. So I, I want to copy this. I really do. wonder how much it would cost me to incorporate this. And I'm going to have to kill off all my trees. That's the only downside. So you know it's taken a lot of time and energy just to do this, to get to the stage where the trees are dead. And then have the patience to not revive them, even though you need trees and fruit for your actual farm as well to progress. So very, very, very nice indeed. Okay, right, everybody, I'm going to stop there. That is the last farm of the 10 that I'm showing you off in this video. So why not check out my channel and see if you enjoy my other videos as well. Okay, right, I'm going to say goodbye now. Make sure you hit that subscription button, as it says in my picture here. Subscribe to Red Knight's YouTube channel. You've also got a beautiful bell notification for notifications as to when I upload videos. Now remember this channel is for both Heyday and Heyday Pop videos. These are two of the games that I enjoy playing the most of all of the Supercell games and I hope you will come back and join me in the near future for more good quality content from myself. Okay, see you next time. Take care, have fun and enjoy your designs now. Bye everybody.